Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter one and continuing with the uh, testing process and talking about the next topic here is 1.7 evaluating exit criteria and reporting. Now sometime it might sound quite simple just like entry criteria there's another uh, checklist which we have to evaluate at the end of the process in order to determine that you were able to complete whatever you planned for and uh, you need to make sure that whatever was supposed to be completed in terms of meeting the expectations or uh, the contracts or the agreements whatever you had with the customer because at the end of the day when a customer looks for the product uh, he basically has to make sure that whatever uh, commitments we agreed upon and the coverage layers as well as the limitations on certain things will be definitely defined so we exit as a part of exit criteria we make sure that what exactly we were supposed to do and uh, we had planned for it and have we completed all those planned activities because at any point of time during the execution process of the entire life cycle uh, you may have uns unforeseen situations uh, which might interrupt your execution and probably bring down your coverages or maybe have a higher defect rate uh, getting more number of defects compared to expected so a lot of such unforeseen situations uh, can be found as a part of your you know execution process and of course uh, at this point of time you just don't just don't surprise the members of the management that uh, we are unable to meet exit criteria at when we are close to the deadline so exit criteria is something which should be measured consistently right from the beginning of the execution and not only that of course there are certain reportings which must be taken care of for example test progress report which is one of the report which need to be uh, consistently updated at regular interval of time to the manager in order to take necessary control actions uh, to avoid any uh, deviations from the schedule deviations from the plan or if in case we need to do certain decision making or find an alternative to overcome that blocker then of course uh, this has to be very very accurate and precise to be to to the point to the manager that what exactly is going on because there are a few things which can be very well controlled which you are uh, probably experienced with being a test manager so you should look forward to that because again now test manager is not alone who can just go to the ground level and collect all necessary details so test manager look forward for the you know equal contribution from the teams conducting various activities within the life cycle for example, be it test analysis, test design, test implementation, test execution, all these activities uh, will be the responsibility of the team members or probably the team leads to consistently update the test manager that how exactly you're progressing. Because things can go wrong at any point of time. So be it test analysis. If you think that the documentation which you were supposed to review is unavailable on time, it might hit your schedule and of course it will be seen or observed much later in the life cycle. So everything has to be reported very precisely to the manager so that manager can actually get prepared for any kind of you know problems which might be coming up in future and uh, be be prepared for that or probably take necessary control actions much earlier in the life cycle so that these kind of uh, unforeseen situations can be avoided. So these are the things which has to be taken care of when it comes to evaluating exit criteria which is to consistently report from time to time uh, in order to meet the exit criteria and uh, even quite you know updating your or reviewing your exit criteria from time to time that how much you have achieved how much more you need to achieve are you going in the right direction because you just don't look at exit criteria at the end of the entire life cycle because you just look at that then you might get surprised saying that oh we were trying to do something but exit criteria is saying something else so it could be like number of remaining defects number of residual risk and uh, what kind of risk what severity it is so all those things matter to us so exit criteria uh, will basically tell you that how far you have met the expectations of the uh, requirements functionalities uh, and the customer needs and if everything is as per that then of course you can stop the process and you can exit the testing process that's the main intention of having exit criteria at any point of time so 
It's very, very crucial about the reporting parts, of course, test progress report and any kind of matrices which are being calculated throughout the life cycle will add a lot of value to meet the evaluate, uh, exit criteria at any point of time. So another thing which I would like to add here from a test manager point of uh, view that an exit criteria can also be optimized. At any point of time, if being a test manager, you think that uh, you know an exit criteria what we created earlier was as per the initial set of requirements. But later, when the customer further shared a lot of other requirements or probably uh, they modified the requirement to a certain extent, which might impact your exit criteria. So you need to you know, look into those kind of things and update your exit criteria if in case you see a big change happening in your certain set of requirements. So it's just not that it is a fixed document which you prepare during test planning. So of course, uh, you know, things may change during the life cycle and you just need to make sure that at any point of time, if you think things are being uh, drastically moving around, then you also keep an eye on the exit criteria that how far this exit criteria will be helpful for us to determine the exit uh, point for our testing and fulfill the needs. Well, these are the all information which you need to be taken care of from the point of evaluating exit criteria and reporting throughout the life cycle. But yes, at the end of the day, finally exit criteria will be evaluated after you have performed all your execution process and uh, everything is in the agreed limit. And uh, the, to the software which you're making or the product which you're working on gives you a satisfactory confidence so that you can go ahead and release it or give it to the customer. Well. That's all from this particular episode, team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video, team, and happy learning.